In this video, we're gonna run through our exact video content creation process, how we save a ton of time creating videos and track and manage the whole process from fresh YouTube video idea right through to release. And it's all using free software. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. YouTube content creation can be pretty intensive, especially when you're trying to stick to a regular content calendar or an upload schedule. Finding good YouTube video ideas is one thing, but tracking and managing all those topics and ideas right through to production and release is another. So to help us better track ideas, plan our content calendar, and manage our YouTube videos throughout the entire production process, we use a simple process and free software that helps us track each of our projects at every stage, collaborate with our remote team, and create content much more efficiently. So this process has saved us not just a ton of time, but it's also saved us our sanity. Seriously, it's incredibly simple, and I'm gonna run through it step by step so that you can implement your own process right now. Now this is one of our key systems behind the scenes. So while we're going through, let me know down in the comments, what's your secret weapon or your tool or tactic for producing content faster? Let me know. So what's this awesome free tool? And I guess you're all hanging on the edge of your seats to find out. Well, it's called Trello. And if you don't have an account, you can create a free one over at trello.com or I'll put links down in the description as well. So first up, I'm gonna show you how to build out a process just like ours for yourself really quickly and easily. And then I'll show you how easy it is to grow and scale this process as your team grows. So I'll take you over to our live Trello board, our super top secret. It's not really if I'm gonna show you, but the Trello board that we're using right now and the entire process that we use with a few extra steps that we've now implemented after growing our editing team out over the past year or so. Okay, so when you first sign into Trello, you wanna create a new board. So come up here to the big plus, choose create a board. And we can give it a name, YouTube videos. We'll go okay. So in Trello, how it works is you've got this overall space here called a board. And inside of a board, you can have a list and then inside a list, you can have what's called cards. And this will make more sense as we go along. So now that we've got our board created called YouTube videos, we're now gonna create our first list. And a list or the columns are really the steps in the process from idea right through to release. So we'll start our first one here, add a list, and we're gonna call the first one topic pool. Hit enter. Okay, so now that we've got our first column or list created, we're gonna go ahead and create the rest of them for the entire process. So you wanna create lists for shortlist, keyword research and notes, ready to shoot, preparing for edit, editing, preparing for release, ready for release, and released. So these are all the actual steps that a video or an idea will take right through from arriving in the topic pool right through to being released. So I'll show you how this works. So all your topic ideas start out in the topic pool. Now this is where you're gonna do a big brainstorm over time or any new ideas that you have for videos that you might create, they'll go in the topic pool. So to add a topic in there, we'll add a card and let's call it smartphone camera tips. And we'll hit add card. We might add another one for, for video lighting tutorial. I'm just hitting enter and that's gonna add the next one in. And color correction tutorial, okay, so that's enough. So you could have an absolute heap of cards or ideas for videos in this topic pool. So the idea is then when it's time to get ready to shoot, you'll move these across. You can pick them up and drag them into the next column into the short list. So these are the ones that you've decided, cool, in this batch of filming or sometime in the near future, we're actually going to create this video. And what you can do with these cards as well is actually click into them and you can add a heap more information. So we can add a description, maybe some of the ideas for this video. Use manual settings, Filmic Pro. So you can write some notes around the actual video, around the content that you want to cover that then stays with this card or with this video topic all the way through the process. And you can update these and make changes to it over time. So you can save that there. And now that description is added to that card. Now you can also do things like add additional members to these cards. So if you've got team members, you can apply labels and checklists and due dates, attachments. There's some really cool stuff that you can do with these, whether you're working with a full team or whether you're just working by yourself. So I'll close out of this now. So the idea here is that once you've shortlisted your video, you can move it 
into the next one where you're going through and doing all your keyword research. In this keyword research phase, we're actually adding all the information into the description of this card so that when it is time to shoot, all the information and everything that we need to create the video is in this place. There's also some really cool integrations and things with Google Drive that you can use to link to documents and share your thumbnail images and all that kind of stuff right from inside of Trello. Now, obviously with these, you might be batching your work. So you might do all your keyword research for a couple of these topics at once. You can just drag them and move them around as to where each video is up to in the process. So when they're ready for shooting, you can move them across to the next one. So this is the location where you'll see everything that is ready to go. So at this point, they should have a script in here or dot points or everything that you wanna cover for your videos and all the keyword research and everything is done up front. So that you can really target the video to hit those target keywords. Once you finish shooting your video, you can move it into preparing for edit. Now this is where you could be gathering other things like a screen recording like we're doing now, sorting out the music, sorting out other B-roll footage or anything else that you need to prepare for the edit. Once your video is ready for editing, move it along to editing. The next one along preparing for release is where you could get all of your end cards or your cards for inside of YouTube videos ready to go. So get all the links or anything that you need just to be ready to press release on the video. So it could also be your thumbnails in here as well. Get those ready, but your video isn't ready to go out yet. And then the last two ones are pretty obvious as well. This is where your videos are ready for release. So you could have a heap of them queued up in here that are all ready to go. And you know that everything else in this process is done up until this point. So everything is totally ready to go for these videos. And obviously once you've run them out, once they're public on your channel, you can move them into released. So that's the general overview of Trello and how it can work for you with your content planning right through from idea to release. I'll jump into our Trello board now to show you what that looks like. All right, so welcome to our super secret, not really, Trello board that we use for the planning and preparation for all of our videos. You can see a lot of the columns or the lists are exactly the same and I will run through this, but we've got a couple of extra ones in here as well. And those are purely around optimizing this workflow for use with a team. So just the same as we had before, we've got the topic pool. We do have an extra one in here for Icebox. These are the ones that we may do at some point way down the track, but at this point we've put in the Icebox. We're not going to do them in the foreseeable future. The topic pool is our big list of ideas of content that we want to create at some point or could create at some point. And this is where we're really just dropping all our ideas in. The short list is the short listed ones, the selected ones of that as we ran through. So you can see that we've got a few in the short list. Once we've moved them from the short list, we go into a process here, JB, which is me, Justin Brown, to note the key points. So this is where we'll go through and I will go through the first pass of adding in all the notes of everything that I wanna cover in the video. So in an example here for this one, best video editing software for Mac and for PC, then they would be what my recommendations are, the pricing, all the information that I need to be able to produce the actual content of the video. You see all this happens before we actually go in and do any research and scripting around the videos. And this is where all the keyword research and the actual scripting and putting together the video structure for each one of the videos happens. So once all the keyword research is done and the script is done, it obviously moves into the next one, which is ready to shoot. So at this point, there is everything that I need to be able to produce the video is done and is ready to go. So let's open up one of these ones here. Yeah. Video content creation, our process from YouTube video idea to release. What a great topic for a video. Let's click on this one. So you can see in here, we've got everything from the start right through to finish, everything I wanna cover. So it's all in here, ready to go. Once I've shot the video, I'll move it into the next one, B-roll in progress. So this is where I'm pulling in everything I need recording wise to hand over to our editors. The next one, preparing for editors is where I'm actually copying everything off to hard drives or uploading to Google Drive. So that's preparing all our scripts and notes and everything for the actual editors. Once everything is up and the editors have been notified that there's new videos, they go into the next one with editors. Once we get the draft versions of the videos back, I'll do a review, JB review number one, and initial changes. I'll come back with any changes that we've got to the videos or suggestions. That then goes back to the editors. When the video comes back again, I'll move it from here into Mike to review to make sure that he's happy with the content as well. Any final further changes happen in this next space here. Once everyone's happy with the actual video to be released, then goes in to get everything set up for release. So this is where the video is uploaded to YouTube, where the end cards are added in, where the cards are added in, and anything else that's needed for the video to be able to go out and get released. 
Obviously once that's done and it's ready to go out, it goes into ready to release until it's actually released and then we move it into released. Now what we do here is we leave in here all the videos that we have released. And the reason we do that is because Trello is searchable. So we can come up the top here and do a search and quickly find any videos that we've already shot to easily find the scripts, to find out what our suggestions or recommendations were, or to see if we've actually done a video on that topic before. So Trello for us makes it so easy to see where our videos are at right from idea right through to being released. Now we'll mention a couple of other things that are really powerful if you are working with a team inside of Trello. You can see these labels across or different colors across the top here. So if we click on these, these actually mean different things. We can see that when the yellow label is applied to a card, it means that the image has been uploaded. So the raw image or frame grab from the video that's been uploaded for the thumbnail to be created. When the red tag is applied, the video description is done. And when the purple one is done, we've got the thumbnail is created as well. So these all play a big part in that overall process as well. And these labels stick with the cards as you move them between the columns. Another thing you might've noticed is some of the heads that are on a couple of these. You can actually assign cards as if they were tasks to different people. So once they go across to say Mike for review, I could tag him in that card and he would get notified that there's something there for him to do, that he has to review a video at that point. And once again, inside each card, you've also got a heap of flexibility with being able to add in things like, we've linked this to our Google Drive folder so we can see all our thumbnails here. I can have a conversation and tag Mike. Here are the end cards for this video. We're gonna to link to this video and this video. So we can have a full on conversation and we can tag team members and everything all from with inside of Trello. So not only does it make it easy for one person to see where all your videos are at, it makes it easy for your entire team or anyone that's helping you with this process right from the icebox or the topic pool right through to having your video released. All right, so that's Trello and that's our exact process for managing all of our video ideas from early ideas right through to production and to upload on YouTube. So having a process in place like this saves a ton of time and a huge amount of headaches. So if you're interested in checking out our recommended process for video editing as well, then we put together a free PDF which is linked on screen called the Primal Video Method. And it runs through the ultimate video editing process that will save you a ton of time and eliminate any rework. And I'll see you in the next video.